with Mark Schlesinger, the head coach of the conference champion UNO Privateers. But that's the regular season. Conference tournament, a big deal as ahead in Katy this week. But, Coach, talk about what it's been like since Saturday, wrapping up the sole possession of the league title and the reaction of the community here at UNO. It's been tremendous, the, the community, the outreach of, of love and appreciation has been amazing. And I'm so blessed and uh, with that, to work at a campus where people care so much about our student athletes first and foremost. And then, you know, everyone's excited to be a champion. Everybody's excited to be in first place and, and to have won a championship and to know that we're progressing back uh, towards an excellent and elite university that we all know that we are. Another step in that direction would be to win in Katy in the league tournament and, of course, the bid to the big dance that comes with it. Being the league champion means you're the number one seed and you only have to win two games to do it starting Friday evening. How does that change your approach going in, knowing you'll be playing a team that could be playing its second game in as many days or its third game in as many days? Our guys will tell you that our approach hasn't changed at all because our practices have been the exact same. We've gone uh, very hard twice a day, um, continuing with the same process that we've been on. We've got to continue to improve. There's some areas of our game that we've got to clean up and uh, get better at. And I think that we've worked to try to address that in this week. Uh, but it will be an advantage uh, being able to watch two days of our opponents live um, to be able to catch somebody either on the third day in a row or second day in a row uh, will be a big advantage for us. And we're excited for the chance to, to do it. But we know that we've earned it. That we had an 18-game run that we had to earn that right. And uh, we think, you know, we won the hardest uh, trophy that you can win, which is the 18-game marathon uh, championship. And I think because of the immediacy of one and done in the postseason, everybody's saying about this league this year because of how tight the standings were that it is wide open. Your thoughts on the teams that will be trying to knock off the privateers? It could be anybody. You know, the, the, the two through eight seeds are all coming for us, and we know that. Uh, they're all tough. Either Each of them is equal. Uh, we've seen that this year where, where we were the top – top team and got beat by the bottom twice so I think this league is, has as much depth as I've ever seen in my almost 16 years in this league I think it's uh, even I think any time any team could beat any team on any night and should be a, a one heck of a tournament to watch this is an easy question to ask whether it's Dayton Tulsa Indianapolis Buffalo you name it you don't care where the privateers would go as long as they're going as long as we're going this is a huge opportunity for us to put our university and our city on a worldwide stage yet again uh, to play in arguably the best tournament sports and uh, to put ourselves back in an elite level of company um, uh, back in the NCAA tournament where we think our program belongs and we want to keep it there. We're hopping on the bus to see if the privateers can do the double in the Southland Conference.